Welcome to the second part in a short series on InWorld AI. InWorld is a developer platform that simplifies the creation of virtual characters that can converse in real time via AI generated dialogue. These characters can be given 3D avatars and imported into game engines such as Unity or Unreal. In the previous video, we explored the platform's features. We looked at their InWorld Origins demo, a short prototype game, which showcased the capabilities of the InWorld platform. We then went through the process of creating our very own AI character, using InWorld's online character creation tool. If you have not watched the first part of this series, then I recommend that you do so before continuing with this tutorial. Link in the description. Okay, you should have a character ready, which you have created via InWorld's web-based character studio. I'm now going to show you how to import this character into a Unity project. Let's open Unity Hub and create a fresh project. Click the New Project button. Make sure that the latest LTS version of Unity 2022 is selected. Select the 3D URP template. If need be, click the Download Template button. Give your project a name. And click the Create Project button. Our new project is now loaded and opened in the Unity Editor. At this point, switch to a web browser and navigate to the Unity Asset Store. The Asset Store can be found at assetstore.unity.com. On the Asset Store, select the AI category. This will take you to the store's new AI Hub page. Scroll down and you should find InWorld's Unity package. It's called AI NPC Engine. Click on it. Now click on the large blue button that says Add to My Assets. You will notice that since I've already got this asset, my button reads Open in Unity instead. Once you have clicked the Add to My Assets button, you should also be given the option to open the package in Unity. I would encourage you to do this. In any case, let's go ahead and click the blue button. The Unity editor with your open project should now come to the fore. Notice that the package manager has been automatically opened with the in-world Unity package pre-selected. Incidentally, if you need to open the package manager manually, go to the top menu bar and select Window, and then Package Manager. To find the in-world package in the package manager, select My Assets from the Packages filter menu. With the AI NPC Engine package selected, click the Download button. Once the package has finished downloading, click the Import button. The Import Unity Package panel will appear. Once again, click the Import button at the bottom. Once the package has finished importing, you will notice a new folder in your project's assets. The inworld.ai folder. Okay, you can close the package manager now. Let us begin setting up the inworld engine within Unity. Go to the project panel and under assets, expand the inworld.ai folder. Inside this, expand the resources folder, and then select the API keys folder. In the folder contents panel, you should see a file called default workspace key. Select this. In the inspector panel, you will notice that the default workspace key requires two pieces of information, your in-world workspace API key and secret. Let's find those API keys now. Go to your web browser and navigate to your in-world studio page. Make sure that the workspace containing your custom character is currently selected. In the left sidebar, click on Integrations. On the Integrations page, scroll down to the API Keys section. Notice that there is both a key and secret string here, ready for you to copy over to Unity. Copy each of the keys separately, using the copy buttons provided. In Unity, paste them into the relevant text fields on the default workspace key component. Let us now open the InWorld Studio panel in the Unity Editor. Go to the main menu bar. You will notice that a new InWorld menu has appeared on the menu bar. Click on this. From this menu, select Studio Panel. InWorld's UI requires some Text Mesh Pro resources, so you may be prompted to import these at this point. If so, go ahead and import them. You will now be presented with the InWorld Studio Panel. Before you can import your custom character, however, you will need to log in via this panel. Click the Login button. In order to complete the login, you will need to supply a Studio Access token for your InWorld workspace. Go back to the Integrations page in your web browser. Go to the Studio Access Token section and click on Generate Studio Access Token. A large text string will be generated. Use the button provided to copy it. Now switch back to the Unity Editor 
and on the in-world studio panel, paste the token into the auth token text box. And finally, click the login button beneath this. Once logged in, you will be prompted to select a workspace. From the workspace drop-down menu, select the workspace in which your custom character resides. In my case, this is the interesting people workspace. Notice the key drop-down menu. Select your workspace key from this. Finally, there is also an in-world scene drop-down menu. Select the in-world scene which your character occupies. In my case, this is Tesla's laboratory. A quick point, do not confuse the in-world scene with a Unity scene. The in-world scene is simply a text description of the surroundings that a character finds themselves in. We created an in-world scene for our Nikola Tesla character in the previous video, namely his New York laboratory. It would make sense for an in-world scene to closely describe its corresponding 3D Unity scene, however. In fact, let us start working with our Unity scene. We currently have the default sample scene open. This is a fairly empty scene, bar a few standard game objects, such as a camera and a light. So let's just continue working with the sample scene. Notice, in-world has already automatically added an in-world controller to our scene hierarchy. This is the main game object that manages the in-world system in the scene. We also need an in-world player controller, so let's add one now by clicking Add Player Controller to Unity Scene. Unity will warn you that adding a player controller will delete the current camera. Click the OK button. We are now ready to add our character avatar to the scene. At the bottom of the studio panel, you will see thumbnails of avatars that are in your current in-world scene. In my case, I have a thumbnail of my Nikola Tesla avatar. Select an avatar and then close the studio panel. Clicking on your avatar's thumbnail has selected the avatar's model in your project assets. Drag the avatar model into the scene view. Take a quick look at the hierarchy view. Notice that the Nikola Tesla avatar has automatically added itself as a child object of the in-world controller. With Nikola Tesla selected in the scene hierarchy, I'm going to reposition him so that he is directly in front of the player controller. I'm also going to turn Tesla around so that he is facing the camera that is attached to the player controller. Okay, we are ready to test this out. Make sure you have an active microphone and hit the play button in the Unity editor. Hello, sir. Ah, greetings, my friend. How may I assist you today? Tell me about your induction motor. Ah, my induction motor, a true marvel of engineering. You see, my friend, the induction motor is a masterpiece of simplicity and efficiency. It operates on the principles of electromagnetic induction, utilizing rotating magnetic fields to generate motion. It was a breakthrough invention that revolutionized the world of electrical power. You see, with my induction motor, I eliminated the need for brushes and commutators, making it far more reliable and maintenance-free than its predecessors. It was a true game-changer in the field of electrical engineering. At this point, I should make you aware that when interacting with your character via the in-world API, you will incur a cost in in-world credits. This means that when you're talking to your character while in Unity's play mode, you will be using up credits. This also applies to builds of your project. Credits are not deducted, however, while you are talking to characters through in-world's browser-based character studio. When you first sign up for an in-world account, you are given a free plan which comes with some free credits, which are known as in-world minutes. Although the free plan is fine for initial testing, you may want to consider the paid plans if you wish to do anything serious with in-world. Okay, before we wrap up, I would like to highlight an error that I have encountered when creating an executable build of the project. I will then show you how to fix this problem. Let me kick off a Windows build and show you what I've encountered. As you can see, the build has failed. I am not sure which versions of Unity that this affects, although I am using Unity 2022.3.5 here. In any case, I have discovered what is causing the problem. There is a conflict occurring with a third-party library, called JSON.NET by Newton Soft, a copy of which is bundled in with the in-world Unity package. I will now show you how to rectify the problem. Select the Project panel. Go to the Project Assets, and in the inworld.ai folder, select the Plugins subfolder. Now go into the Third Party folder. Within this, you will find a folder called Newton Soft JSON. Delete this entire folder. Next, we want to install the latest version of JSON.NET 
as a separate Unity package. Open the Package Manager. Click on the plus icon in the top left corner, and from the drop-down menu select Add Package by Name. In the Name text field, type the following string, com.unity.nuget.newtonsoft-json. Click the Add button. The json.net package will be immediately downloaded and imported. Once json.net has finished importing, close the package manager and kick off another build. This time the build should complete successfully. Okay, we have reached the end of this tutorial. In the next part, we will get our in-world character working in VR by using Unity's XR Interaction Toolkit. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.